Okay guys, well I'm actually going to show you how I make, or I should say hatch, uh, brine shrimp. Um, I got this from Brine Shrimp Direct and um, this container I believe costs 50 or 60 dollars. I can't exactly remember how much I paid for it, but I know that this amount will probably last me several years. So if you're feeding your fish uh, baby brine shrimp, uh, this is a good way to go because it's uh, relatively inexpensive. You know, the ups, you know, the cost up front is actually, you know, a little bit pricey. However, for $50, $60 for several years worth of use, how can you really go wrong? Because it really doesn't take that much to, um, to make the brine shrimp. And that's what I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to need an air pump, some hose. So right here, just like, I didn't even cut it down to size because I'm kind of lazy with that. And um, I have a jar, which I filled up with salt water directly from my uh, salt water tank. And it's one of my purple dotty backs. Uh, this fish is actually pretty nasty. It's hard to keep him with other fish, so I don't really add too many fish to my tank. I have two clowns, the perfect dotty back. I have um, a couple of snails. And I do have a starfish, my chocolate chip star, which takes care of a lot of pests in the tank when they do come up he eats them which is good about those and uh, so what you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to fill the salt water to right where the, the jar starts to curve and you can also use a soda bottle or you know other things with a curve in it because what you're going to do is you're going to get the air hose and you're going to drill a hole actually through the top of one of these jars, stick the air hose through, kind of make it go towards the bottom of the glass. And what's going to happen is the air is going to pump up and create kind of like a circle, circular motion in the water. And um, that actually somehow speeds up the process for the brine shrimp hatching in my opinion because I've tried it other ways. and. I usually get a very good hatch rate by the second day. Um, so, let me take this out right now. And I'm going to show you exactly how uh, much of these brine shrimp eggs you actually need to make, um, to make a batch. It's actually more than I really need because I only feed my saltwater fish these when they first hatch. And, you know, I have them on a diet of other things as well, but they do love the brine shrimp. It's kind of like a treat for them. And when the brine shrimp first hatch, um, basically they're very nutritious because the egg sac is still attached to the brine shrimp.